Okay, so the first opinion about K-pop rappers, I agree with. Like in K-pop there's a lot of raps and rappers that I personally love and enjoy, but like if you look at the rappers that I love in K-pop, mostly Nugu and some popular, you'll see that not all rappers that I love are that amazing, but still get the job done. I wholeheartedly agree that they're mid compared to western rappers, even the best rappers are. Like I know rappers in K-pop that are good at being rappers, that I personally think are good, examples, Lisa Blackpink, Ellie Former We Girls, JK Girl Kind, Tem 410 Yoon Jung Hi Cutie, Hya Jung Floris etc. But even they're not as good compared to western rappers. Sure they can rap and do it well for me, and I get shook when I hear a rap from them, but compared to western rappers they fall short. Even rappers that I find outstanding and top tier, even more amazing than the ones I mentioned above. Examples, So Yeon G Idol, Bell from Dustin, and the rappers of the newly debuted boy group of Blue, they for me are some of the most talented and perfect rappers in K-pop, and I'd consider the best, my personal taste, but even so then they don't compare to rap queens and kings like Nicki Minaj and Megan The Five for example. I think the rappers who can maybe come close to American rappers and be on the same level as them, are rappers from the K-hip-hop genre, since they have a lot of rap songs, and focus on rap as well. I agree with this opinion mainly because, even the best of the best rappers in K-pop, aren't actually the best of the best, and would get eaten alive by the likes of rappers like Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion. Okay so the next opinion is Christmas Evil being Stray Kids's worst song, and I agree completely. Christmas Evil was a mess tbh, but when they released the ballad song and Winter Falls, which is one of my alt songs in the winter theme, those were better. I think it's because I prefer more softer music to songs like Christmas Evil, more rap based, idk what the song is called lmao. But even with Christmas Evil, the song would be enjoyable if it was better, but as a ballad beautiful and soft music enthusiast, I didn't like Christmas Evil. There's some cases where I'd prefer fast paced or louder music over chill ballad music, but in this case, Christmas Evil falls under the bad side of Christmas K-pop songs, and Stray Kids discography. And the song being bad doesn't help, when I've discovered some pretty enjoyable K-pop, and non-K-pop Korean Christmas songs too that are actually good and some catchy as well. The only positive thing about Christmas Evil is that they look like they had fun in their MVs which is good, but overall the song is a skip for me, and I literally just went to re-listen to Christmas Evil, because I forgot what it sounds like, and that should tell you something. Okay so the next opinion is about ITZY staying relevant because their music is bad, and while I agree songs like Sneaker aren't good, I love it. I can't say that I agree. In the past I've liked only 3 ITZY songs, but now I like the whole Sneakers album, Voltage and Boys Like You. I only don't like blah blah blah. For me ITZY's music besides Sneakers and maybe Mafia in the morning, are good. Their titles besides Not Shy might not be my cup of tea, but they're still pretty good. They're not staying relevant because of their bad music. Because you might find their music bad, but others probably like it enough to stream it, and still give it attention. Everyone's taste is different. Okay so the next opinion is about K-pop being global and it low-key affecting the genre for the worse. An IDK if I understand this properly, but from what I understand, I semi-agree with this. The reason for me agreeing, is that K-pop has become more global, so you can see lots of groups breaking into the West, and some releasing English music for the West. But I don't think it's entirely affecting the genre tbh. Because K-pop has a lot of debuts, bigger and smaller companies, from girl groups, mostly, boy groups and soloists. K-pop being global and people knowing more about K-pop, these international fans who know about K-pop, only know more about well-known or popular groups, and also not every company is trying to be westernized or something, or releasing music catered to the West. I feel like at this point, K-pop isn't being affected by going global, because not all artists in K-pop are trying to break out into the West, and there are plenty of artists still doing K-pop as K-pop, and not catering to the West. This is what I understood from the sender's opinion, so if it's wrong, I'm sorry. Okay so the next opinion is about not a single K-pop song being objectively good, and I agree but also disagree. 
IDK if I've explained this correctly, but take OO for example, I agree that it's a bad song, and that JYP could do better, but I do like it a lot because it's a bop. I know objectively that it's not good, but I still like it. Same with a lot of my music tastes. I'm not too picky when it comes to music, so I like a lot of songs if they're good, based on my taste but if I were to properly analyze some of these songs that I like in K-pop, I know that they're definitely not as amazing as you'd expect. So that's why I agree. Looking at K-pop from the objective perspective or like being neutral when looking at K-pop, you can definitely see that there's nothing standout-ish about the genre, and it's just regular pop sung in Korean. I also disagree with this opinion. The reason being that this person said that they do enjoy K-pop, but when they look at it from a neutral perspective, it's just not good, and it's regular pop, which is completely understandable, but I think that this person who sent in the opinion, should maybe check out new artists, because K-pop as a genre cannot be all that bad. There must be something that you find good. Because every year, month, week and day a new K-pop group or soloist or subunit or something are releasing music, and there's so much music in K-pop, you're bound to find something objectively good. While I agree that K-pop doesn't stand out, because a lot of K-pop songs aren't that amazing, I do believe that K-pop cannot be all that bad considering the many releases every time, and that there are songs that are objectively good, and you can just search up on new songs, Mimi Rose's Rose and Limelight Side to Eye for example, which are songs that I consider to be some of the best K-pop songs released, and even looking at them from an objective perspective you'd see they're amazing as well. Okay so the next opinion is the word doesn't being disrespectful and I agree doesn't means that they don't add anything to the group or whatever. But true I agree. An idol pre-debut who got selected out of all the people who auditioned for the company, got selected to train and debut in a group. They might not be the most amazing as an idol or maybe might not be the talented, but that doesn't mean they're dozens. Idols who pre-debut train, work hard, and sometimes have to work for long hours on dancing, singing and other things etc. Y'all cannot deem someone a dozen just because they're untalented. Maybe they're not the most skilled, but they trained hard to be where they are right now, in a K-pop group, and you calling them dozen without acknowledging how much blood, sweat and tears they've probably put in into debuting is dumb, because you're probably sitting on your fat ass making these dozen comments. Okay so the next opinion is about Rocket Punch World Domination, and I half agree. I liked Rocket Punch's debut, and then liked Bouncy's chorus, and didn't like Juicy, but then liked Ring 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 Chiquita, but didn't like Flash at all, and the Flash MV had horrible camera angles and things. Amongst bigger budgeted nougas, I don't like Rocket Punch much. So that's why I only half agree. Rocket Punch have an okay discography, it's nothing too outstanding for me like other big budgeted nougas that I love more, examples, Nature, BB Ended excluding Venom, GWSN, Alice, La Boom etc. Rocket Punch are a hit or miss group, and I'd choose Infinite or Lovelies over them. Sorry not sorry. Okay so the next opinion is about not liking Good Boy Gone Bad, and the whole album with it, and them liking Lonely Boy only, and that they just skipped the songs, when they thought the songs might grow on them. I agree with the Good Boy Gone Bad. It's a bad song, and due to the fact it being a bad song I didn't check out the album. I have this thing, that if the title isn't my taste, I don't check out the album, with rare times I've checked out the album. So I have no say on whether the album is good or not. But good boy gone bad omg, why are TXT's music getting worse? Like seriously, they need to have a good title again, because I stand them for their good music, until they released Love Song, Loser X Lover and Good Boy Gone Bad. Good boy gone bad is unlistenable to me. Sorry but that's all. Bye. Also I still stand them, but I just can't with their bad titles. Okay so the last opinion is about lineup changes, and I asked a friend to explain this opinion to me, and I understand it now, and I agree. When groups debut with a certain set of members, and one member is removed, due to a scandal, something problematic they did, or breaking the rules of a company, or if a member leaves, or if a member is added, then I think it doesn't really work well a lot of the times. Like imagine if you stan a group, and then you learn all about the members and you have a bias but that bias leaves, you might lose interest in the group. Or imagine if you stan a group, and then members keep leaving, and new members keep getting added or old members rejoin, example, the girl group Baba, it would be frustrating to keep up with the member changes. It also causes some disturbance in the lineup, because originally, the debuted lineup trained together, practiced their vocals together, practiced their dancing together, and worked as a team together. 
But if a new member is added, that new member had to practice with the group and learn to keep up with the group and match with the group's flow and energy, and sometimes that member could feel out of place with the group, because they did not originally train with the group pre-debut, and was added later on. I would agree with adding a new member later on, if they originally trained pre-debut but the company saw that they were not ready, but besides that I don't think adding a new member is good. It causes an imbalance with the lineup, because as I said, the new member or members have to learn to keep up with the group and their flow and energy. Fitting the group's concept isn't the only thing that they have to do, they also have to match the group's vibe and feel like they belong in the group, and don't feel out of place. A new member who was previously an idol in another group or is a new person entirely, cannot just train and join the group for the next comeback. In reality it makes them a member of that group yes, but they're not like fully a member of that group, if they're not comfortable yet with the group. Like when you as a person join a friend group after making friends with someone, you're not officially a part of that friend group unless you're fully comfortable and normal around them, and it takes time for you to settle in. Same with the new member, because they need time to fully settle in and match the group's aura and things, and this could also be seen as a problem by fans, and leading them to lose interest as much as they lose interest due to the reasons I mentioned above. I feel like groups shouldn't add a member if they lose a member, and should just promote with said members if they're enough, and only should add new members, if they really need to. I like when groups don't add new members, and they stick to their original debuted lineup, example, G-Idol, BB6, Florus, Hi-Cutie etc. It's so annoying when I discover an old disbanded Nugu girl group, and I wanna stand them, but the original debut song has a different lineup, and the comeback has a different lineup, because a member leaves after debut or a new member is added, and it's frustrating. So yeah I agree with this 100%. Be